you single right now? Hell yeah. I'm fucking plenty of hoes. <laughs> Great Street Crew. You're from the... Are you new to that? Did you have a girl like the whole time you were blowing up? My hell yeah. Shit done changed. Why, bro? Great <laughs> that shit. Why, bro? Hey, yeah, yeah, I had a girl all through like while I was blowing up. Yeah. Right. And she still got a couple of tattoos. Yeah. Those ain't going anywhere. <laughs> I don't know, bro. I don't care what she did. Uh... Yeah. Are you just happy to be out of the relationship, or is there a part of you that sort of misses having that stability? Nah, I, I like, I'm happy. I like to be free. Right. I just like to, you know what I'm saying? Do me now. I've been way, you know what I'm saying? I've been bad. I've been in my bag. Mm. Nah, you know? You got all these famous chicks who are probably trying to talk to you now. Mm -hmm. Or are you still going back to the block? <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> Man, it's on, it's on my list. I ain't gonna lie for us to find females there. I mean, when you were with it's your weird. girl, were you getting DMs from Kardashians and just like trying to be like, no, nah, I'm gonna be a good guy. I'm gonna ignore that. Yeah. You were a good guy. In the beginning. At first. Until uh, to somebody, like, I, I'm the type of nigga, once you cross me, fool, it's like a grudge I hold on you that I don't even do it on purpose, fool. Like, <laughs> I swear to God. Mm. Like, I. In my mind, I forgave you, but like, for us, a girl, it's just something for like, I just can't, you just can't come back from it. Like, any, no way. Any type and of I'm lying? I'm going treat you different. Any type of lying or deception? Is it like enough to qualify? I was like, you just can't trust with the per trust the person anymore? It just, it just be fuck them. Mm. But like, it's just like, it be fuck them in your head, but like, it just be like, now how do I find a way? This is myself away from this person. Mm. It'd be like that. Especially when you're young, man. You just you need life experience yeah. before you can make the decision about who you want to spend all your time with. Yeah. Niggas just bullshitting on some young shit. Do what it will. <laughs> <laughs> bullshitting. But you guys were together before you blew up, so it's kind of like you guys might have been on more equal. Nah. And then all of a sudden you're up here. And I had got everything with her, like, changes. I had got with her like right when I had like start like blowing up. Right. I, got with her. I mean, sometimes you want that stability. Everything's changing in your life. And then I, if but, I said I bullshit it on mm -hmm. some drunk ass shit. On some drunk ass shit? Yeah, this is just some fun, like a little some Memphis shit. Oh, okay. It's just saying like I'm just bullshit. Right, right, right. Okay, I got you. Um, let me ask you this. Were you always aware of the Grape Street thing since you were young, or when did you realize that that was something you want to be involved with? Like, I always been aware of, like, gangs. Like, gangs just in general. Like, I always wanted to, like, be a part of, like, the Crips. Right. Like, I remember, like, we was in East Memphis. I got into it with my neighbor. I, I, I told this story, and uh, I got into it with my neighbor. It's like me, I never wanted to be a follower. I always wanted to be a leader. Mm. Like I always wanted to be like, like go my own way, you know. And he um one day he walked outside and he had just a red rag in his hand. He was like, and he looked at me, he looked at me, he was like, I'm a blood. <laughs> and I and I looked at him, I said, I said, well, I'm a crip, <laughs> like, and then answers that day is like a type of like a little beef between us. We like fight, always fight and stuff. And I damn it, I tell him, you ask my mama, I chase his ass around the neighborhood with a brick. <laughs> me and little me, me and my boy, we were thugging, but he my he my nigga though. But like, but like it was just stuff like that. Like I always been in war. Right. Been, always been on so you, so you just knew dudes who were associated with it from a young age, or you put yourself on. You say what? You, you put yourself on, or you fucking just knew some Grape Street dudes in the neighborhood, I, or what? I knew a lot of Grapes, you know, a lot of Grapes, like a lot of a lot of niggas, lot of, a lot of my friends that was Grape Street, like a lot of my niggas was Grape Street. Because I remember being confused when Block Boy came out, and I was like, God damn, they got Grape Street dudes in Memphis. I didn't even know that. Oh, yeah. And now I'm used to it. Man, it's it's deep. Yeah, it's deep in Memphis. That's crazy. It's deep as hell in Memphis. Did you know Block Boy before you blew up? Hey, that was my nigga. Oh, really? Okay. That was my nigga, like, we used to stay having, like, I ain't never know him personally, but like, like me, like, before I blew, I like, I already had a little buzz, 
Like, so I was always kind of like, I had like 40K followers before I blew with 30K. Okay. And I used to always fuck with Block. Like, I used to always roast him, like, check him and shit. Oh, okay. Come on his live and check the shit out on. He's a fun guy to out. roast. Yeah, he's funny, yeah. Because he'll, he'll roll with he'll it. You can just all day. say whatever you want to him, and he's just going to laugh at yeah, you no and say some shit back. Yeah. That's what I like about him. So, yeah, I, I established my relationship with, like, Block early. That was, like, my big bro, like, from the beginning. That was, like, he was the first feature I, I did, like, when I blew up. Oh, really? That was the first one you ever yeah, did? Yeah, the top Block. I seen Gotti in that video and I started thinking, I'm like, yeah. damn, fucking Chop is the only dude out of Memphis pretty much besides Dolph and them who didn't end up signing to, to Gotti. Yeah. Was that, was there a conversation? I'm sure there was a conversation. Man, nah, it was just like, you talking about a conversation with me signing? Yeah, because I'm uh, yeah, sure he yeah, wanted yeah. you on the team. Yeah, 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 yeah. How was that? It was just like, on you know, some shit like me, I was just wanting to like, I was just in the process, in that process, there was a lot of shit going on. Like, a lot of labels were hitting me at that point. I believe it. Like, every label, like, every single label was hitting me. And we was just trying to, and my team, like, me, I ain't want nobody fucking me over. I ain't want, I, I ain't get no manager. You hear me? I ain't get none of that. I kept it with the family. I told my mama, I made sure my mom like, before I blew, I was doing all this shit independently. Like, scraping up my own train, getting my money for this shit. You know what I'm saying? Real deal, hitting leagues, getting this shit, like doing this shit just right. to just to buy studio sets and stuff. But like I swear to God, when I blew food, like I told my mom, I'm like, mom, like these people want to fly me out. I said, I'm gonna need you to real deal, like just you know what I'm saying? Fuck with me, just pause what you're doing real fast, cause you know she got her own business. Right. I'm like, just pause what you're doing real fast, just come fuck with me real fast, like just you know what I'm saying? And so she, she never thought she would be working in the music business. She never thought. <laughs> she know. My dudes ain't no shit. I'm a rap my manager. Yeah. And then mama already low key slow. Man, what? She ain't know nothing. Me and mama was looking dumb as hell. That's so, crazy though, because like, okay, when I when I was working with Lil Pump and he starts blowing up at 16, I, it was never a consideration that he would bring his mom on tour with him and stuff like that. That's interesting that you oh, have such you gotta, a strong you, family. Yeah, you gotta keep it close. Like you gotta like, I, I made sure that because like. That's why a lot of people getting fucked over. You, bro, it's, if if somebody fuck you over that got your best interest food, like, that shit is rare. Mm. Like, you know what? That shit don't happen because if they got your best interest, they not going to fuck you over. So, mm -hmm. you know, so like, I kept that shit in the family made sure that even though I knew the light, you know what I'm saying, this is my mama. It's going to be mama at the end of the day, so it ain't going to be all just sweet because, you know, at the end of the day, it's mama. Mama got, mama got rules. Mm. You know, I respect mama. I knew that shit, but, like, that's the problem when you come in the music industry is you literally just like can't trust anybody. You have no yeah. idea who has your best interests in mind. So to even have one person yeah. that you know you can 100% rely on, yeah. that's huge. For sure. Facts. Um, okay. So, yeah, one other question I wanted to ask about was how did you feel when your ex said that young boy was the goat? That was a weird way of her getting back at you. Why? <laughs> Shit, everybody got their opinion. Shit, shit. But is he make good merch. Yeah, like you, you love his music. I would assume. Like yeah, you see somebody good. that influenced you. He make good merch. He merch good. Everybody got their own opinions. Shit, but like, look, get what though? Huh. Just a few weeks ago, I was the goat. Right. <laughs> so what does it really mean? So who really the goat? You know. <laughs> But is it weird for you to all of a sudden be mm -hmm. even in that conversation when, like, you were, like, a kid, like, a year ago just watching motherfuckers on TV, and now everybody wants to have that conversation? Like, yeah. who's the hottest young boy, Kodak, Chopper? Like, you're right up in there in that conversation. But I swear, it's, it's kind of stressful, fool, because, like, <laughs> they don't compare me to nobody else, fool. Like, they, it's, it's crazy, you know what I mean, dude? Like, right. Know, it's crazy, though. But, I mean, you, I you, guess, but I guess, cause I guess it's a good thing, because, you know, he one of the hottest rappers out. That's good problems. This, this is. I guess this is a good comparison there. Mm. I'm, I'm rocking with it. Fuck it. Hell yeah. I, I mean, that's what I've been listening to. So I have listened to you guys. Fucking Juice, Ski Mask, yeah. Thug. Thug. You gotta listen to Thug. I ain't never been the type to bump though. I want to get into bumping Thug though. You got it. He's like, so weird. Cause everybody <laughs> keep telling me that. Like they be telling me I be tripping. I was like, I never bumped Thug, but they was like. His voice is, everybody be telling me that, like, his voice is an instrument. Mm. So, so I want to get, I want to, I want to hear. 
That's some real shit. Yeah. Were you a Juice World fan? Did you ever meet him? Yeah. Right. Juice World, I went on tour. Juice World and Ski. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. That was super early on, huh? Yep. So you got to kick it with him a lot? Yeah. That nigga a freestyling fool. You could have been on that nigga go 10, 11 minutes. Easy. I'm talking about, you know it's not rope. Straight off the top. Fluent. Yeah. A fluent freestyler. That's what Juice was. He like, gets compared to a lot of people who like have songs written for them and shit. Yeah. Like, all the shit on his albums was him just going in and Freest- doing that. Freestyle. That's like, how nothing. I record. Oh, I you do that to too? Really? That's exactly how I record. You don't even punch in that much? I punch in. Okay. I do punch ins. I freestyle. I got juice stuff too. Juice. Yeah. But juice, but like outside of recording, like when he's just like when he's just standing here, if he's just standing here, he can go without punching in fluently. Mm-hmm. I can't do that. I ain't <laughs> never seen nobody do that. But like Lil Snoop, Lil Snoop, and, Lil Snoop and Juice World, all the niggas I done seen, you cut on a beat, they that, can give you a pure freestyle. That's fluent. interesting. You knew about Lil Snoop and shit. Oh uh, yeah. You're kind of young. That was a, that was an early thing you're a fan of. Oh uh, yeah, Lil Snoop. I'm just a nigga running the ghetto. <laughs> I'm in the game and I'm bottom like a mellow. Right. That was my nigga. Rest in peace. Just bumped the shit out there, my now. That's crazy. Go. He Man, a go. We never got to see what he would have uh, accomplished, you know? Man, what that nigga would have been. Man, what? That's yeah. crazy. That's hurt. Nojumper.com. Like, comment, subscribe. If you guys enjoyed this video, go on one of these. You know where to go. And then Nojumper Facebook, too. Link is down in the description. Some good stuff going on over there. Appreciate y'all watching this.